I know you also wrote an article about this. So which returning Browns players most impacted by the 2023 draft class? We had number one, Deshaun Watson, two, David Bell, and three, the entire returning interior defensive line. So take us through that. Yeah, the Deshaun Watson thing is like a, when I wrote the article, I'm like, it can be positively impacted too, right? So I think Deshaun Watson impacted by Number one, they bring in Dorian Thompson Robinson, who is probably the backup QB of the future here. Him and Deshaun have a friendship um, going back to when Deshaun would go out to L.A. And Dorian, of course, went to UCLA. So they would work out together and kind of have this familiarity with each other. And Dorian has like a similar dual threat kind of skill set. Obviously, he's not Deshaun Watson because only Deshaun Watson is Deshaun Watson. Um, but I do think it's important to kind of have your quarterback room, that foundation for the guys to have similar skill sets. They also went out and got him Cedric Tillman in this draft, who I think is a really good pickup because he brings something that that receiver room didn't have. He's officially their biggest receiver now. He doesn't necessarily, he's not a contested catch guy, but he's really good at getting open at the top of his routes. So I think all of that is really good for him because you're just giving him another option and you're giving him someone else to potentially gel with in this offense. So overall, I think it's a great haul for him. Um, David Bell, I think it's more of a negative impact. You bring in Cedric Tillman and then you look at like the Elijah Moore trade and bringing in Marquise Goodwin. It's like, I don't know what David's, niche on this team is going to be this season because Elijah can play in the slot. David doesn't really have that speed. Um, so he's going to have to compete for some playing time here. And, you know, I think that can, that can be good for a younger guy to get that kind of competition, but there's just no denying that it's not going to be handed to him. He's not going to be an automatic starter. And I'm really curious what this looks like. And then the interior D line, I mean, man, it's not just Dalvin Tomlinson they brought in. They drafted Siaki Ika. They brought in um, Maurice Hurst and Tristan Hill for the um, backup on that defensive line. We just actually, in the Orange and Brown Talk podcast we record, did a draft of those positions. And I took Maurice Hill in the la or Maurice Hurst in the last round uh, because I think even adding depth at that position is so key because the numbers were just so bad. So, Maybe Jordan Elliott will win that second starting job opposite of Dalvin Tomlinson, but they also have a ton of other guys, I think, who are going to be able to compete for that, um, including Siaki Ika, who is maybe like one of my favorite draft picks. I've even talked about that on this show. Um, so I definitely think there's positive and negative impacts throughout this roster on both sides of the ball, just given the draft, but also when you add in those free agent pieces they brought in, um, it really kind of adds to those arguments, I think. Yeah, I would agree. And, it, and the, you know, it strengthens the roster. Roster is uh, probably as deep as it's been.